Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 in honor of Firefly Alpha's recent success making it into orbit for the first time. I decided at the instigation of Pekka, a viewer, uh, to update the model of the Lightning engine, which is a second stage engine, just a very, very slight modification. We added a little turbo pump, no, nothing too complicated, but it's a way of me uh, justifying retesting it and we will test it on the course that it was on, a 137 degree inclination, uh, which is a strange inclination, of course, out of Vandenberg. And we will test it with 500 kilograms of payload, uh, which I, I'm sure is more than what they actually carried. Uh, its total capacity in a normal direction is a ton, so we are just shading that a little bit lower. And you can see it should be able to do that with plenty of room to spare. But it's uh, sort of my way also of reminding people that I have this model, <laughs> so uh, it's worth noting. It is part of the Small Rockets pack, which I will uh, put in the video description. And I'll put the link to the GitHub of that. And uh, this comes in a few pieces, so if we type Firefly in here, we should see all the little pieces. Uh, though, unfortunately, a lot of other pieces come up. Yeah, there's a lot of other things. But basically, uh, Firefly Alpha Fairing. Uh, first stage, inner stage, second stage, and then uh, that's not part of it. The Lightning One engine. Uh, they used to call it Lightning One. I don't know if they just call it Lightning now. And then also the Reaper engine. Oh, sorry, Reaver engine. Reaver engine, right. Firefly, yes. Okay, so Reaver engine. Mostly the numbers should be just about right. The ISPs certainly are, and the thrust should be. Uh, the masses are always a little bit uh, question mark, but uh, it does what it's supposed to do. And we have four of the Reaver engines at the bottom. And the small rockets pack also comes with many other rockets. And not all of them are quite as well textured as this one, but uh, mostly I did a lot of work on them uh, to make sure that they look all right. And that includes the Able RS1, ABL RS1, uh, Astra's rocket, uh, uh, Rocket 3. That's uh, so just Rocket 3. Uh, it's got a bunch of CubeSat stuff. The DCX, which is sort of a throwback one. Uh, and also some small uh, model rocket engines, just in case. And also the Rocket 1 from uh, whichever company makes Rocket 1. See, they all make it all generic. Sorry, Launcher Space. Launcher Space makes Rocket 1. Uh, there's a Skyrora XL and also Terran one, and also VLM parts, and that's from Brazil. So yeah, plenty of launchers in the small rockets pack uh, for you to play around with, and we are going to test this out right now. Okay, so here we are at Vandenberg. We need to go to 137 degree inclination, and we're carrying a 500 kilogram payload. So throttle up, SAS on, ignition. And launch. So we have to go to a heading of something like 240 probably. We have to cut out orbital velocity which is all the way over there to the east, 381 meters per second. So it looks like the design launch, this is what Wikipedia says, to a regular low earth orbit is 1170 kilograms, that's its maximum. And then to a sun synchronous orbit, which would be to a lesser inclination than what we're going to here, it can carry 745 kilograms. So our 500 kilograms should be close enough to this weird inclination, which I'll show in the bottom corner there. Right now we're at 34, but as you can see, that's going up. Okay, our inclination is already at 131. That's going up much slower now. Okay, separation. Oh, the fairings are definitely later. Ignition. Might want to put separatrons or something on there. I haven't got RCS on here, though it, uh, based on the mission, the recent launch, uh, probably ought to have. But I don't know what kind of RCS it has, so I left it off and then people can add whatever they like. If you want some nice RCS ports, there is my Surestrut engine pack. I'll let go of the fairings now. Um, yeah, that has a bunch of RCS ports that could be used for this and configurable to various types of propellant. 
Though you'll also need to sneak on the tanks. Because this won't have the fuel in it. Not sure why cities end up in light blue. But that seems to be how it happens. This uh, payload adapter at the top is available with the small rockets pack. It uh, is generic and if you want to rescale it for the rocket, you'll need tweak scale. Well, looks like we needed more than 240 degrees. It's cutting it close. 500 kilograms might have been too much for this. It's a weird orbit after all. Not used to going this way. Okay, well, it looks like 500 kilograms was just a little bit too much here. Uh, we got to 137 on the dot, but and, you know, maybe my trajectory wasn't great, but uh, we probably need to cut it down a little bit. Well, in honor of the fact that they actually got to orbit, I will try once again, but with a slightly lesser payload to make sure that it does the proper thing. So we will try again. Okay, so this time we are carrying 460 kilograms instead of 500. And I'll try to go to the inclination a little bit better. Trajectory, we'll see. So, SAS on, throttle is up. And ignition. And launch. I think uh, 243 might be better than 240. Oh, let's get the inclination out. Okay, separation and ignition. And we'll wait until 100 kilometers for fairing separation. I forget exactly where they did it. Alright, fairing set. Safe enough for us there. Of course, they were not carrying anywhere near this load on the test flight and I don't know who needs this much sent into this particular orbit strange as it is okay 137 on the inclination just verifying that but I'm gonna focus on this right now in the hope that we actually make orbit here Okay, 260 by 243, with one second of burn time left. Uh, 71 meters per second. Obviously a computer can do things a little bit better than I can, but that's as accurate as I could make it on a sudden shutdown. So, yep. Well, anyway, we can make orbit on this 137, or okay, 137.1 degree inclination uh, with this, with 460 kilograms. And I will link the mod, the full mod, the small rockets pack with all the other small rockets as well in the video description. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.